latest developments. The United States now has nearly double the amount of coronavirus cases compared to any other country in the world. Los Angeles County recorded more than 1,000 new cases in the past two days, and city and state leaders are working to get supplies in place to help hospitals with the expected surge of patients. Uh, California Governor Gavin Newsom says masks could be worn to help prevent infection, but they should not be a substitute for social distancing. And public schools here in California are expected to stay closed for the rest of the school year. NBC 4's Kim Tobin joins us now live with more on the recommendation from the state superintendent of public instruction urging that distance learning to continue through the remainder of the year. Kim. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Tony Thurman is still talking right now at this point. He says the state's guidelines is for all campuses to close for the remainder of the year. But ultimately, that final decision lies in the hands of each district. We reached out to LAUSD. So far, they say they have no comment. But we did hear from the Orange County superintendent. He says he is encouraging all campuses to close down for the remainder of the year. Thurman says even though this is happening, they're still encouraging that distance learning. While our campuses are closed to our students, we want to be clear, school is not closed. School is still in session, and we've had to shift to doing distance learning as the way that we deliver education. We know it is a tall order. We know it is a challenge. We know that we're experiencing a health challenge that we have not seen before. Thurman says even though they have this going on, they're working with teachers to train them for this new normal. They're offering webinars and asking teachers what kind of tech help they might need at home. Governor Gavin Newsom also announced a partnership with Google. The company is providing thousands of free Chromebooks for children and 100,000 points of access to Internet all across the state so that all students have a chance to take part in that online learning at their home. And I did talk to one fourth grade teacher from Luther Burbank Elementary in Long Beach. That's the unified school district there, Elizabeth Curtis has been teaching for more than 20 years. She says in all of her time, she never thought she would have to teach her kids over a computer, and it's been a really tough adjustment. She says it's also hard to know that they won't be going back to class this school year. We're just devastated, and we're sad, and we're overwhelmed, and we're trying to do online teaching, but a lot of us have families of our own, so we're, I'm trying to teach my daughter at the same time as managing a classroom, and it's just hard when you're not at work being able to interact with the children and give hugs and high fives and um, have that connection with them has been really hard. But teachers are making the most of this, using different platforms to interact with their students and taking on the challenge of this new way of teaching. Many teachers say they do feel supported by their districts during that time. But again, we are waiting to hear from each district if they will close all campuses for the remainder of the year. Thurmond also mentioned and acknowledged that he knows this has been a major challenge for families, but he's encouraging everyone to rise together for the sake of the education of their children. Reporting live, Kim Tobin, NBC4 News. Kim, thank you. We want to get back to that breaking news.